What's going on you guys? Chris Jigs overboard. We're back and I want to show you guys something interesting. So right here, this is my fly rod case. It's got my seven weight and my eight weight fly rods for saltwater fishing, fooling around and everything. And I always keep this in my truck. I rarely take this out of my truck. So this is always great to have, but don't get your hopes up. We're not fly fishing today. I kept thinking about it. I do all kinds of fishing. But when I have to go and I do regular ones after work, I gotta go home, I gotta grab the tackle, I gotta grab the rods, take everything, load them in the truck, take them out. I really wanna have it set up where all I have to do when I get home is change out of my work clothes and hit the road. And so check this out, you guys. We got this. Yeah, that is a uh, planar rod case. And inside, yep, we got two rods. Um, both of the rods are Guggen Squad rods. Um, I really like the way they feel and they have little measuring sticks on them So they're gonna do great, but we got a spinning setup and a bait casting setup perfect for saltwater or bass The bait caster is a 13 fishing Origin TX. So it is saltwater resistant So let's get some line on these things and then we're gonna go and we're gonna go take them fishing All right, you guys, we got them all set up I put a 15 pound Yozuri fluorocarbon line on and I just went ahead and just tied on a um, pompano jig with a uh, teaser. Basically, same as throwing braid with a 15 pound leader, except the whole line is. Um, mostly because when I'm bass fishing, I'm gonna be using this line for my Texas rigs. It's a little heavier than what I normally use, but it'll be perfect for salt water. And if I need to go up a little bit more to strengthen it, I can always throw a bite, to, uh, bite leader on, you know, uh, 12 inches of 30 pound, 40 pound, so on. So we've got the bait casters all set up as well as the spinning rod. We put 15 pound braided line on there, moss green in case we're freshwater fishing and it works fine in salt water too. And I have tied on a salt strong power prawn. So we're gonna go give those a try. All right, you guys, we are waiting out here. And as you guys can see, I brought the sea mule with me on this little wade trip, quick little wade. It's actually a real popular spot. Most people are fishing the rocks and everything, but we're gonna fish right here. I'm feeling a good bit of rocks down here. I might have to change my uh, power prawn from the uh, jig to the, um, the weedless so I don't catch all the rocks, but we'll find out. We're gonna start with the pompano jig and just do some fan casting and see how it goes. Simeo keeps wanting to swing around me. Well, ooh. Oh, that is bad. Just got this reel and pulled it out of the box. Never used it before. And brakes are all set to zero. Okay. That's all right. That's what I get for not paying attention and not doing a good job with that. So we're gonna work. Let's see if the power prong can get it done. This used to be a really good flounder spot. I don't know if it still is. I don't actually fish in this spot a whole heck of a lot. I have a line out. I need to go get that line. You guys, that scared me. Huh? Oh, there's bait all over the place. We're back doing a little shoreline fishing this time. No wading. Got the uh, origin all spooled up again with the uh, 17 pound Vanish by Berkeley and a little uh, paddle tail with a jig head. One of the best baits you could throw for artificial. Uh, we're gonna see how it goes. It's uh, it's pretty dead right now. Hopefully, uh, some stuff gets moving. Uh, high tide is unfortunately like 11 o'clock. Low tide was at like 4:30, and it's like 6:30 now. So, hopefully, maybe we'll get on something. You know, a little trout action, maybe a couple redfish. Shoot, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm perfectly okay with catching ladyfish. Just want to get that tight line. You know what I mean? Let's get at it. All right, you guys, first cast. I will go ahead and say 17 pound line, no leader, it's straight to the main line. 
I'll probably lose this and have to retie, but that's okay. And a little bit of a backlash. We'll get that worked out. Pretty good little fishy, fishy spot. Anybody that wants me to come and drop a fish trap out here, see what kind of stuff lives around these rocks, go ahead and hit that like button and drop a comment, fish trap. And we'll come back here, back out here again with the fish trap and uh, set it and see what lurks around here. Ooh. Come on, pick it back up. Fish on. Let's go. There you go. What do I got? Yeah, watch yourself. Mangrove snapper. Yeah? Yeah, mang. What you get away? Uh, one of those white baits. Let me get in the light so I can get them on camera. All right, little mangrove snapper with truck fishing rods. Horrible lighting. There we go. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, you've got me. You got me tangled up in my line of my rod. What did I just catch? Trotsky. Uh, that's definitely what I had on my first. Oh, they just got teeth. Yeah, they got gnarly teeth. Yeah. Don't lip these. Oh, I'm gonna have to, you're gonna make me use pliers, boy? Really? Oh, he came off. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. That was dangerous. Oh, dude, there's a ton of mangs right here. They're just going ham pecking at the uh, the paddle tail. A little bit. You got something? What do you got? A little trout ski? There we go. That's a good trout. Come here. I think yours was. Oh my god, he's fresh. Uh, he might keep, but I'm not keeping any fish tonight. He's an inch short. There we go. Fish on. It's a good trout. But was you hear what this what Laura said about my reel? What? He said I got a nice one. Did you tell him that you ran over my other one? <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, I ran over one of his uh, van stalls. Thousand dollar van stall. That thing was a thousand dollars. That was like five hundred. That looks like a snook, man. Man, really right on. Kind of snuggle, right? yeah. Oh! Oh! 20 pound leader, yeah. Okay. You got a snook? I'm on something. Oh, two flounder! Keeper. What is it gonna be to keep? He's not keeper. 10. What is it gonna be? 12? 15. Somebody look. I'm looking it up. Look it up. 
No, he's 13. Nope. I want a picture. Hang on, show it off for the camera. Let's see, let, me un let me unravel it. You got a little fly, a little clouser to a pot there. Secret deadly bait. That was a hook set. Little Trotsky. Thick, hold him up for the camera. Oh. Really close. There you go. Now he looks big. <laughs> nope. I told you you were, you were you were you were eating. You just didn't know. Did you? No, I didn't. That is a dinker. That is a dinker trout. <laughs> I'm on again. Good one. Mm, probably not. No. Nope. Ate the, Ate the scraps, but it's another. It, I'm, I'm casting right on the tiny, tiny ones. Uh, hey, <laughs> they could be twins. That's a better one than the last one. Got it? Still short. Josh is his own. Nah, he's barely. Technically could have kept him, but he's too small. Dude, that would have been, a, that's a good eater though. Would have been a great eater, he was fat. There we go. That's, a, no, that's still a dinker trout. Huh? Why are you fishing with a circle hook? Because it's what I grabbed. This is the smallest trout yet. <laughs> Josh. That feels like a better fish. No, it doesn't. Another trout. No. That'll work. That'll work. That was a hook set. Did you see that? Oh, you mother. He ate it. Doubled up. Yeah, but it's a double. Hang on, hang on. There we go, doubled up. A little male grunting. How many are we allowed to keep? Five. One over twenty. Long arm. Long arm him out. There you go. All right, you guys. We got the truck rod video done. Took us four days, but it was definitely worth it. First day, we really didn't get on it. Second day, I didn't have time to really take advantage of the night bite, um, but we got a mangrove and a trout. And then of course, day three, and especially day four, when my buddy Josh came out and threw the net and we got all the live bait, we absolutely killed the schoolie trout. Um, we just had a blast out there and so, these two rods, they did great, minus the Origins backlash uh, fiasco. But it was a great thing, and these are gonna be in the truck, so no matter where I am, I'll always be able to stop and go fishing. If you guys like this video, 
do me a favor, hit that like button and hit that subscribe if you haven't already, because you know, I really wanna grow the channel. We're gonna do what we can and we're gonna see where this goes. So tune in for the next one.